Hello everybody, welcome. We are at Animal Kingdom today and we are going to be seeing the Finding Nemo show. I am so excited. This is the first time we've been here during the day. It's a weekend. We're usually never here during the sort of afternoon when Nemo is on. So this is the first time we're actually getting a chance to see the show. And I couldn't be more excited for it. I know, it's been um, forever. It's been gone forever and they finally brought it back and they made some changes. So. I couldn't be more excited. And I think we're gonna try and grab some food at, I think probably one of my favorite quick service spots in all of Disney. Um, hopefully it's still open, it closes early. So we're gonna to have to run over there and get it before the last Nemo show. So let's get started. First things first, we got to get some food. I am starving. It is almost three o'clock and we haven't eaten anything at all today. Nothing. That's not true. I did have a, I did eat a vitamin gummy before we came. That's all I, that's, that's all I've had to eat or drink this entire day. So I am starved. Let's grab some food. Uh, we're going to head over to the Harambe Market. And I don't know why, but Harambe Market closes at like three o'clock. 3.15 today, I think technically but like around two or three o'clock so if you're interested in getting food there you got to go early it's like lunch only yeah. that's the thing I really don't like that about this place because the food is really good over here and we're never here during the day so we never get to eat here so let's run over here we're actually we're here there's no running uh, there's a lot of loud music over here all of a sudden so I don't even know if you'll be able to hear me talking right now Let's hang out with our pal Mickey here, although every time I see this Mickey, I always think he's the most busted looking Mickey of any Mickeys in Disney. Um, I don't know. It kind of looks like one of the, the Mickey Mouses that's in like New York City. You know, like the, the Mickey Mouse characters that are walking around Times Square in New York City trying to get you to pay money to do pictures with them. It's always some like busted looking Mickey Mouse that's like not quite right. I feel like that's what this one looks like. Anyway. So we're at Harambe Market, we mobile ordered our food. Um, there is a line you can wait in, but it usually takes a while. Um, it's actually right over there, you can see. A pretty long line, so we mobile ordered it and we're just waiting for our food to come, so. I'm starving, I'm starving, I'm starving, I can't wait. They had a Simba cupcake here too, which I don't think we've tried, but I don't know. We've had bad luck with the cupcakes, so. I think I'm just gonna pass, maybe we'll get it another time. Yum. We haven't had this in forever. It's really loud right here. There's like a there's a speaker right behind us playing music, so I'm trying to like angle this in a way that it's at least somewhat away from that. So I don't know how well this is gonna work, but uh, it was hard to find a spot here. Check it out. Oh man, look at that. I mean, this is a good sized bowl of food too. Like it's pretty big. We had to switch seats. Because I tend to talk louder than her, and I just figured like where she was sitting, it was just not happening. So, um, we both got the chicken bowl, the grilled chicken bowl. They have the ribs bowl, a ribs and chicken bowl, and just the chicken bowl, and then they have like a salad, Greek salad or something. I don't know, but this food, last time we had it was amazing, and I can't wait. It comes with like, um, it has like a little, hers is, hers actually looks better, let me, let me show you hers. It actually comes with like a, there's like a salad right here with some like sort of like vinaigrette dressing, uh, the, the white rice, the chicken, and then like a little tomato salsa on top. Which to, and then the chicken, but it, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually flavored really well. And they have hot sauce available, which makes it even yeah. better. Um, this hot sauce is pretty good. Even I put the hot sauce on there because it's so good. Um, 
So anyhow, we're just gonna dig in. We're gonna grab some of this food, and then we gotta get home because we gotta get to the Nemo show. So let's let's chow down. I actually mix mine all up, um, so I like I stir it in. Like you can eat the salad like separately. It does have like its own vinaigrette on it, um, but I actually like to really like stir it up like this, um, and then add some hot sauce. I've already added like a packet of hot sauce. I might add another one. You can see she's like loading hers up with hot sauce. How many packs is that? Three, Three so far. We'll see how many more she adds. I just love how the rice is always cooked right. Yeah. Like it's never too mushy. It's always like perfectly cooked. Yeah, it's good. I think I'm gonna add another hot sauce actually. The one wasn't even, like, I need more. Uh, I just love it. The chicken's quality, I love the flavor of the chicken. And we're done. I ate every bite. Yeah, I gotta say, it was really hard for me to get shots of us eating and getting the food because we inhaled it so fast. Yeah. It was so good. I love that place. Man, I'm, oh man, my mouth's on fire though. Woo. Woo, it's on fire. I but about eight hot sauce on my own. It was, it's so good. I can't, like, the ribs bowl we've tried it's pretty decent i just prefer the chicken bowl i mean you can get chicken and ribs i feel like the just a straight chicken bowl is better though than the ribs and chicken bowl so um and it was 12.99 for the bowl which i don't think is that bad um and it's a pretty good size bowl um i just can't i i would eat there every time pretty much every time we come to animal kingdom i would either eat at harambe market or yak and yeti if I, I could just eat those two, I mean, there's other good places too, but like I could probably just eat those two and be good. Man, it is hot. It is so hot at Animal Kingdom every time we're here. Um, Candy had to use the restroom, so. Whew. And the funny thing, the other thing I noticed about um, Animal Kingdom, especially in the Africa area, there's always people just sitting around. Like everywhere I look, it's hard to even find a spot where there's not somebody sitting. If there's a, if there's a place where you could sit down, there's somebody sitting in it in, in, in Animal Kingdom here, especially in Africa. And I think it's because it's so hot. And there's so much walking between all the different areas that people like need breaks. So I feel like if it's one thing they could do a little bit better um, is add more seating places to kind of just like hang out and chill. Now there are actually a few places to hang out and chill um, that people don't know about. Um, maybe I'll, I'll try to get a, a shot of one actually that I know about on our way over to Nemo if we go by it. Um, but there's some really nice like uh, places you can just kind of sit down and chill in Animal Kingdom with like overhangs um, that I feel like people don't know about. So they are usually kind of empty. I now remember why we are never in Animal Kingdom in the middle of the day. Yeah. Woo! It is crowded. And very crowded, yes. There is a lot of people here and it is hot. Uh, we really don't ever come to the park in the middle of the day. Um, that's just one of our tips that we usually tell people it's in our sort of tips and trick video that I'll uh, I'll link to below but there's a lot of reasons why we don't come to the parks at this time of day right over here is one of the areas I was talking about that a lot of people don't really know about I feel like um, where you can kind of relax and take a breather oh hey look actually have a uh, couple of the floats going by here one down there with the uh, Timon on it. So anyhow, um, yeah, so there's just like these nice little tables down here um, right across from the Feathered Friends in Flight show. There's a nice little alcove there with a few little tables and chairs. Um, some of them are a little bit sort of under some foliage. Um, and then there's this nice little area over here, again, across from the Feathered Plant. It's called Upcountry Landing. 
Um, and it used to actually be a, um, a place where you could get on the boat, but they don't have that anymore. So now they've turned it into sort of the seating. Um, and it's a nice little area because it's, it's covered. It's got a nice breeze. It got some fans up here. And again, these are both right across from the Feathered Friends in Flight show. So if you're looking for a place to kind of hang out and chill, and it's right by the water. So anytime one of the cavalcade, uh, water cavalcades goes by, you get a nice view of it. Now, back to what I was saying about we're never here during the middle of the day. We always recommend not to be here. Our advice usually is to be here early in the morning, be here late at night, skip the middle. Um, it's just too hot, too moist, yeah. way too many people in the park. Um, there's a reason, and, and there's a reason why a lot of the parades, the entertainment, the shows are here in the middle of the day. If you notice, like the times at the parks, there's usually all those things are right in the middle of the day. That's because that's when the most people are here. Yeah. So you want to avoid being here in the middle of the day. Unfortunately, when you want to see those shows and parades, like we're here to see the Nemo show because the last show for Nemo is at 3.30, um, we got to be here in the middle of the day. So we can only come here on the weekends because we usually do a lot of our filming in the evening hours and I'm trying to find as much shade as I can and this is the hottest park, we say that all the time. Um, so yeah, let's head over to Nemo. I'm gonna give it a walk, let's give it a walk over. We've got like, I think 45 minutes still till the show starts but I kind of want to be in line early. Well, it's raining. And we, uh, because there's no shade in Animal Kingdom, I mean, no shade, um, this is where we ended up. <laughs> the little Trillo Bites booth on the way to Dino Land, we found this one little slice of overhang that we're like huddling against the wall, trying not to get soaked. We tried a tree. You see that big tree over there? Uh, we tried that for a little bit and it was a bust. Um, it didn't help at all. So then we ran over here. Uh, it'll probably, I mean, there's barely like not a lot of clouds up, up. I mean, it's like blue sky all around. There's just like a cloud that happens to be over us and raining. So it'll probably stop soon. We're almost to the Nemo show too. So that kind of stinks. But there's no, sh I know for a fact there's no um, shade or overhang at the Nemo ride. So we could be standing in line for Nemo, but. We yeah, would be getting soaking wet. Ride. Yeah, I totally did. Why do I keep saying ride? But there's no shade over there either, so we would be getting soaked. Uh, I see Kite Tails is still running in the rain. Again, it is lightly raining, but I do see Kite Tails still running. I don't see anybody sitting there watching Kite Tails because there's usually not anybody watching Kite Tails when it's nice out and it's raining, so there's definitely nobody watching it right now. You can kind of see the kites in the, behind the trees a little bit. Unfortunately, it looks like we are not going to get to see the Nemo show today. Uh, we headed over to the Nemo show. Got here about 45 minutes before the 3.30 show. Just want to show you the app here. 3.30 next show time. Finding Nemo. So we get here and they tell us there is no 3.30 show today. <laughs> And I say, well, what do you mean by today? And they're like, well, uh, yeah, there's just not, there was never going to be a show at 3.30. I'm like, well, there's the app. It says 3.30. Um, so then uh, a man, so then I say, well, can I, is, does, can I talk to somebody? Because I'm confused. I thought there was a 3.30 show. And then the manager, she came out and she said um, that they canceled the last show a couple of hours ago, but they didn't update the app. They didn't have a chance to update the app. Um, <clears throat> but then she said it was because of technical difficulties yeah. versus what's been commonly um, reported is that they've been canceling shows due to low attendance. But what's interesting is she said technical difficulties, but there was a show going on right now. Um, she even said, well, there's a show going on right now. And I'm like, how is there a show going on right now if there's technical difficulties? <laughs> So is this all things a little bit confusing? Um, so the point of this is just to just let you know, if you are interested in seeing the Finding Nemo show, good luck. Um, or try to come early and check back periodically um, to see if the show is going to be running at those different slots. <laughs> but probably don't wait for the last show time of the day because more than likely it's going to get canceled. Now we've been seeing a lot of reports about 
the early morning and the late evening shows getting canceled um, regularly. Um, they, when they originally launched with the Finding Nemo show, um, they had earlier times and later times. And then they've gotten rid of those completely, so they don't have them at all, at all anymore. And now even the ones that they actually have on their boards are also now disappearing during the day. So it's a little bit frustrating, if I'm being honest. Um, usually I just would kind of go with the flow. Go with the flow. But um, this, was, this was especially annoying because we literally came here today in the middle of the day just to do this, um, which we never get to do. So now we got to call an audible. The movie Lightyear is out, obviously, at this point. So they've got a lot of Lightyear merchandise. They've had some before, even before the movie came out. But now that it's out, they've got a lot more. Um, so they've got some smaller kid-sized shirts here. Here's the ears. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Uh, which I think are really cute, by the way. Um, and then they have some cute little shirts here. And the quality of the shirt feels really good, I feel like. Um, and it's pretty cute. It's $24.99, but check out these pants. They've got this like star command uh, to the exact specifications of Space Ranger Buzz Lightyear. It says on the pants, these like cargo style pants. They're pretty cool, I kinda, I kinda dig them and they're 50 bucks, not too bad. And then they have this kind of like futuristic shirt here. This pocket here is kinda cool. It's made out of like a different material than the shirt kind of like a, uh, I don't know, polyester. And on the back we have the armadillo here. It's kind of neat. And that shirt's $36.99, so it's a little bit more expensive. Now all the Buzz Lightyear merchandise does say limit of two per guest. So you can only get two of these based on SKU. So you can get two of every single thing that they sell, but that's the maximum you can get. Check out this hat they have. It's kind of cool, actually. It's pretty. It's pretty heavy with all these like um, pin things on it. It's thirty six ninety nine. I do like it though. It says Kilimanjaro Safaris on the back, and then on the front it says like Disney's Animal Kingdom Kilimanjaro Safari. It's got all these little pins on it. Now these are not removable. Um, they're they're on there fixed. It's got some yeah little distress marks on it. Thirty six ninety nine. But it's it's a pretty heavy hat. But it's cool. And this is limit um, two as well. He's out. He's rarely ever out walking around. He's usually down in his little hidey hole down there, or he's back there walking around. See him? But he's rarely back there walking around. I saw his little head, his little nose popped out. Let's see if I can get a good shot of him when he takes rounds the corner here. Come on, get a good shot, get a good shot. Oh. I don't know if you can see it, but like, I am literally so moist that after that little like shower that came through, it kind of cooled things down just a little bit, but like now it is so moist that I feel like I'm walking through a swimming pool. Um, and I feel like I've been in a swimming pool, like I'm just like wet everywhere. And not from the rain, just from like my walking around, it like my body is collecting the moisture in the air. So like I'm literally just feel soaked i'm not that hot but it's just like i feel wet Whew. well it looks like we'll be doing nemo another day uh we didn't get to do what we were expecting to do today but that happens at disney and you just keep uh rolling with it i'm not gonna lie like i said earlier this one was kind of a gut punch it was a little bit frustrating usually we just roll along but uh, that was a little obnoxious but i mean hey you know what when you come to Disney every single day or theme parks every single day, something inevitably is gonna kind of be frustrating. So pretty good track record, only being frustrated once in about a bazillion times coming. So uh, overall, not a bad day. We found other stuff to do and I'm super excited, or glad that we got to eat our favorite sit down, or I mean, our favorite quick service restaurant here at Animal Kingdom um, and one of our favorite quick service in all of Disney. And I think we're gonna call it a day. So we will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Until then, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.